Assalamu alaikum and very good morning from Lahore, Pakistan. And this is the third lecture on thanatology. And in this lecture, I will be discussing the causes of death. As you know, the causes of death are either the natural or unnatural. And the natural causes are basically the some diseases in the various systems of the body and unnatural are the homicidal, suicidal, accidental, or poisoning. I will also discuss in this lecture what is suspended animation. Well, this is a condition which is also called as apparent death and the vital systems or vital signs are at so low ebb that they are not perceptible with routine clinical examination. So we have to differentiate that condition from the death. And I will discuss various differential diagnoses, that is various conditions which are simulating the apparent death. Then I will also be discussing the modes of death. As we know that there are three vital systems or three uh, systems which are necessary for the continuation of life and they are the tripod of life that is the central nervous system the cardiovascular system and the respiratory system and the failure of the system is the mode so i will be discussing the modes of death also in this lecture so take care we are heading towards the lecture i am dr david ikbal kokar professor of forensic medicine and toxicology as we're discussing thanatology, and this is the third lecture on this topic. And in this lecture, I will be discussing the causes of death. The causes of death are either natural or unnatural. The natural causes of death are due to some disease processes and unnatural are due to damage to any vital process, which lead to interference with the vital function which are necessary for life. So coming to the natural causes, they are diseases in various systems. And diseases of the central nervous system like hemorrhage into the brain tissue, which are the cardiovascular accidents, apoplexy, that is rupture of the vessel into an organ, that is into the brain tissue. Then aneurysm or embolism of the cerebral vessels. Cystic tumor abscesses which may rupture into the ventricle. Cerebral hemorrhage, subarachnoid hemorrhage, epilepsy, continuous discharge of impulses which lead to epilepsy. This is extradural hemorrhage, picture of an extradural hemorrhage, and this is the hemorrhage within the brain tissue. So there can also be cerebral thrombosis, subsequent infarction, cerebral embolism, meningitis, tumors of the brain producing pressure, and tumors of the brain with sudden hemorrhage. So these are various diseases, a few of them, then uh, there can be more diseases and conditions within the central nervous system. Then they are certain metabolic disorders like uremia, hyperglycemia, and cardiovascular conditions are usually most common. They are myocardial infarctions or other ischemic heart diseases, other diseases of the heart, congenital or acquired, they can be the cause of death. Similarly, in the respiratory system, the asthma, the cardio, uh, respiratory pulmonary cardiopulmonary disease, which can be chronic disease of obstruction or, or any other disease of the lungs or any other condition within the respiratory system can be the cause of death. So coming toward the unnatural causes, they can be accidents, accident in road traffic accident or homicidal, like any traumatic injury, stab, laceration, incised, firearm, so any, any trauma to the vital region. Then the suicidal, usually 
they can be firearms or any other suicidal attempts. Then poisoning. For example, like opium, alcohol, so any poison can be a cause of death. Now coming to the condition which simulates death, that is suspended animation or apparent death. That it seems that person is death, but he is in a state of suspended animation. And we should know the various conditions which simulate suspended animation. And they come in the differential diagnosis of death and suspended animation or apparent death. The suspended animation is a state resembling death in which the vital functions of the body are dropped to a minimum level, but compatible with life. Person apparently appears as dead, but he is living. In this condition, the vital function of the body cannot be detected by routine methods of clinical examination. And this state of apparent death may persist for seconds to several minutes after which the person survives. This condition can be or may be artificially induced as voluntary as in yogis or involuntary in certain other conditions. The involuntary unnatural conditions in which this condition of suspended animation can be generated like electrocution, drowning, hypothermia, encephalitis, overdoses of sedatives, barbiturate coma, and new in certain newborn babies after anesthesia, cerebral concussion, heat stroke, prolonged illness, and deep shock. Then there are certain natural conditions. This death-like state is normally seen in cold-blooded animals like frogs during hibernation. To differentiate between death and this apparent death or death-like state, routine clinical examinations only are not sufficient. EEG or ECG will be required and it will be perceived the activity of the brain and heart. So important for resuscitation, this should be kept in mind because there are certain conditions in which the vital functions are at so low F so for resuscitation purposes that the, in these conditions, electric shock, barbiturate poisoning and drowning, the resuscitative measures should be continued as long as even the person is clinically dead, but the resuscitative measures should be prolonged. Then coming to the modes of death. And as we know, they are basically three because of the tripod of life. We know that the tripod of, tripod of life is based on brain, heart, and lungs, which make the life. So the loss of one of the support will be the leading cause and the other will be following. So there are three modes of death, coma because of the failure of the brain, syncope because of the failure of function of the heart and circulation, and asphyxia because of the failure of the function of respiratory system. In coma, the failure of the function of the brain and irreversible damage to its vital centers. And this can be due to raised intracranial pressure due to injuries or due to diseases like meningitis, or certain poisons in opioids and alcohols, or some metabolic disorders. And at autopsy, there will be edema and congestion of the brain and its membranes. In syncope, the death is due to failure of the function of the heart, due to decreased flow of blood to the brain, leading to hypoxia of the brain. In certain conditions or diseases like heart disease, disease of the blood, hemorrhage, and poisoning, like digitalis, aconite, potassium, they can be toxic to the heart. And at autopsy, the viscera appears pale and capillaries will be congested. 
then asphyxia is due to failure of the respiratory system. And this can be diseases of the lung, paralysis of the respiratory center, opium poisoning, or breathing of irrespirable gases, or any penetrating injury into the chest, or traumatic asphyxia. So any process which interferes with the process of respiration will be leading to asphyxia. And at autopsy, cyanosis, critical hemorrhages, visceral congestion, and injury at the local point at where the trauma is occurring, either the chest or the neck will be seen. So there are basically three modes of death, coma, syncope, and asphyxia. So the summary of today's, this lecture is that we have discussed about the causes of death, which are natural and unnatural. And we have also learned that the natural causes are because of the disease process in various systems and unnatural may be because of suicidal, homicidal, accidental, or poisoning. And we have also learned the suspended animation or apparent death and the differential diagnosis or the conditions which simulate suspended animation that we have discussed. Then we have also learned the modes of death, that is the three modes, coma, syncope, and asphyxia because of cessation of central nervous system, cessation of cardiovascular system, and cessation of respiration. So thank you very much. This is all about the lecture number third. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And my channel name is Dr. Javed. Thank you very much.